made it through the night. I woke up again at about 1.30 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep until about 2.30 a.m. Now it's about 7.15. Um, I'm headed back to the community pool or whatever that I was at uh, yesterday. Um, so that I can take a shower and brush my teeth and uh, get the day started. Um, then after that, I'm going to clean the car up a little bit. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do in Key West. I need to get gas, but gas is really expensive out here. So, get like the minimal amount of gas possible. And then get the rest of it on uh, in Miami or something. So, the place I was going to go um, doesn't open until 9 o'clock. And it's 7.30. I googled showers in Key West. And apparently there's showers in this state park old fort thing called Fort Zachary Taylor. So I'm going to go see if what they got. Um, hopefully they'll be open. But it's a state park, so I don't see why it wouldn't be open. But uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, I was going to go in there, but now I can see that there's like armed guards from like the Navy in there. And like, they're like military uniforms. Um, checking people as they go in. I don't have anything to hide, but it seems like I should be in there. So, looks like no shower for me. Okay, I'm um, leaving Key West now. I'm uh, driving towards Miami, but I'm probably going to stop somewhere in uh, one of the islands so that I can uh, get some breakfast and um, download the footage that I took from yesterday and everything um, still trying to find a shower I don't know what I'm gonna do there but if I can get a shower and I can eat then I don't really need anything else so let's see how it goes all right I just pulled over on the side of a uh, highway one right outside uh, Key West Changed clothes, cleaned up the uh, car a little bit. Um, I don't know, I'll feel a little bit better. All I need is just a shower and maybe a little breakfast. After that, I'll be 100%, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna stop somewhere, like I said, at a uh, Dunkin' Donuts in about 45 miles. Just leaving uh, Dunkin' Donuts. I, uh, just got all my um, videos downloaded from uh, yesterday and this morning. Now I'm <clears throat> probably not gonna stop again until I get to uh, until I get to St. Augustine. Should be about a uh, four four hour drive, five hour five hour drive, something like that. So. Oh no. Stone they all rejected But still you did the unexpected Step down from the throne Oh Lord Lower than the angels But no one else can save us Cause you are God alone So I'm in Miami right now. I am about to merge onto I-95, which is uh, basically the whole um, route of the trip. I'm doing most of the travel through I-95. It's kind of the whole point of it. I'm going from like one end of it to the very to the other end of it in uh, in Maine. So this is the start right here. They watching everything I do, everything I say, every set I play. I got my head down, praying I don't go astray. 
that I never fall, that I never turn. See lightning strike, crash and burn. I'm in this airplane, dodging the clouds on this narrow path, dodging the crowds, running from trends. Seeing my friends turn to enemies, they slither like centipedes. 100 problems, but he left 99 just to find me. Yeah, I was a blind sheep. 98 on the freeway. Eyes on the plumbers, but my past right behind me. I'm trying to get the one note. Future bright, cause my eyes on the sun, bro. Oh, Hold up. Lord, stone they all rejected. Still, you did the unexpected. Step down from the throne. Oh, Lord, lower than the angels. But no one else can save us. Yes, you are God yes. alone. It's about 5 30 now. Just made it to St. Augustine. And I think this is the first time that I've seen the Atlantic Ocean. Um, not very pretty, but the town is really cool. It's like super small, there's tons of beach houses, and it just looks like a really friendly city. Yo, this city is so cool. It's like so old. Everything is just like, just as if they just built it like in the 1600s or 1700s or whatever. These buildings look like they're from that time. It's super weird. But I'm walking towards one of the oldest streets in the United States. I don't think it's the oldest, but it's definitely one of the like one of the oldest. So Yeah, they've got all these like little museums in here. It doesn't even look like they're like open to the public ever. I think this is the Spanish Military Hospital Museum. That's in like Spanish. I can't even read that sign. Looks like they're selling wine. A couple of restaurants. It looks like I'm walking in like a. Uh, Heights of the Caribbean or something. These old, like these old buildings. So I was just over there in the uh, old town, and uh, I saw all these and everything, and then I saw that this was a drawbridge. It's a pretty nice view. I mean, you can't really tell on camera, but you can see like all of old town and everything, all from here. Apparently there's a college like right in the middle of it. I forgot the name of it, but that big building right there is the dorms or the classrooms or something like that. Just like right in the heart of Old Town. But there's a fort right over there. And I'm gonna go there tomorrow and uh, see what that has to offer. But there's a lot of sightseeing in this city and I didn't know that. I never even heard of this city till Chase mentioned it. Since I've been walking around this city, it's really hard to believe that you're still that I'm still in Florida. Like it really seems like I'm in like Boston or something like Boston. It seems like I'm in Boston or something like New York. Or something old like that, not Florida. Besides that pile of dirt, this beach is just gorgeous. I mean, there's like nothing out here. There's like, there's no houses, you know, there's no skyscrapers, there's no restaurants. It's just beach. 